I, I've heard that you. Heard you're 23. I heard, <laughs> I heard that you keep two birds hostage in your home. Ooh, jeez. One bird. Two. Two birds. I was right. Hostage in your home. How do you feel? And what's it like to abuse the animals you love most? You know, it's just part of the routine. You know, you could take a bird. Why did you buy them? You bought your birds, right? You could right? take a bird. Because they're pretty colors. Is it colors. true that you bought your birds? Is it true you spent money you could have been <laughs> spending on charity on birds? You could have just, dirty, dirty you birds. just walked outside and <laughs> grabbed one. Grabbed one. Yeah. Now that's yours. That's your bird. Is it true bird. that you didn't grab a bird outside? <laughs> it's all true. <laughs> it's all true. Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. We got Jaden Animations. Very good. That's probably the first episode we've ever done a little thing at the beginning. It's probably the that first would lead into the yeah. musical first intro. We've had on mm -hmm. the podcast as first well. criminal we've had on mm -hmm. the podcast. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jim. Yeah. So uh, I am finally free. <laughs> I'm here in the interrogation room. Yeah, does, this is. How does the brief uh, freedom feel before you inevitably <laughs> go back, <laughs> re relapse. commit another crime? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's, it's good. I'll take what I can get. Tell us about like the birds. Something? Huh? Tell us about the birds. Alive and kicking. A lot, but what type of birds do you own, Jaden? You're on a podcast. Like We're oh. trying to ask you questions about your life and yourself. Oh my God. One's blue and one's red. That doesn't. <laughs> it says the color. Yeah. Okay. okay. You ever? What do you? Did doing? you know that if you sm <laughs> smash them together, <laughs> they get purple at high, <laughs> at high speeds, it would make purple. <laughs> that's not. the plan. What kind of? Oh, that's are? the plan. She's working on the big Jaden Hadron Collider, Jeez. bird collider. <laughs> Jaden's Jaden's new experiment. The That's bird what, buster. Yeah. The bird buster. Uh, what kind of birds are they besides hopefully still alive? Um, tiny, medium ones. They're like this big. No, but like what? Uh, like what, what sort of bre breed? Like breed? <laughs> what species of birds? Do you, do you, know? you keep avoiding the question. You know what we're asking. <laughs> You, you're acting like we have someone like sketching out like a, <laughs> the birds. Oh, uh, that's what I'm down. used to. Um. Conyers, there. We got white around the eyes. Oh, very cool. Conyers. They bite a lot. They, they bite, bite? Oh, really? mm -hmm. a lot. One gave me this scar here. Okay, so that oh explains God. the and bird many buster. More. <laughs> We're constantly good. fighting. Do they talk? One says his name a lot. Oh, so they Conyers. can talk. <laughs> it's like a Pokemon. <laughs> what will the other one say? That's my <laughs> That's <cool. laughs> um, well. I feel like we haven't even introduced you that much. No, we Welcome, Jaden, to the podcast. Uh, Jaden, she is a animator, and she makes story times. True. Explanations of life stories, various situations. She's twenty three years old. She is has two birds, two birds, two birds. and ten million plus subscribers. Uh, according to this fact sheet that I found. Uh, a higher net worth than all of you guys, and wow. unmarried. Wait, well, actually, those are too fast. Those are you guys are all those married. Are <laughs> so, so on another podcast, we actually looked up our net worth according to those websites that are like, oh really, that think are they never know. right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what is Jaden's net worth oh, allegedly? No. Allegedly, five million. Five million. Wow. wow. Hey, I like hear something bad. funny. I would like to have that. I get you away know, with that. Uh, I haven't yet. <laughs> Charlie, how much was yours? It was like, uh, what was it? One point. You're like 1.2 mil. Yeah. Yo. Ted's, yeah. I was, was I, three to four I, I was mil. Three to four yeah. million. Was like I had a hundred thousand dollars. I had a hundred thousand dollars. What are you doing here? I don't know. Uh, try not to get a prenup. Tr trying to boost that net worth. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we always ask this question to every guest we have on the podcast. We mm -hmm. go around. Um, we like to ask what part of the sandwich they are. So pre-established, Ted is the butt loaf. The butt pieces. The butt pieces of the bread. Schlatt. I'm the mayo. Don't mess this up, the Charlie. Mayo. Uh, and I'm... Don't mess it up. I'm the meat. So... 
Can I be the toothpick with the olive? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> Maybe just the toothpick. That's you can also one. be another type of meat. Charlie's taking up well, all of the meat. No, she, 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 like she didn't want to be the meat. She wanted to be a Why stick. Why can't I be the toothpick? Of wood. You're you wanted to be a piece be the, of wood. The sandwich holder in there? Yeah. Are you the one right in the middle. Today, Ted? Huh? Do you want to be a meat? I think Ted might want to be a meat. No, I you don't. I just meat. want Ted. you to. We have been going on strong for 20, 30, 40-ish episodes. You don't need maybe. No, no, listen, and listen. now all of a sudden you want to be the meat. Because you're sandwich. acting like Schlatt at Korean barbecue. You're taking all the meat for yourself. I, I did. I took the, all the bulgogi. I am all the meat. I am all the meat, man. <laughs> you should have seen this fucking guy. Korean all of it. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. We, so, you know how they, they have the hot plate. And have you, you been to throw Korean the barbecue before? Um, Yes. I went for the first time, and I think Charlie did too last night. Mm. I had gone once with Schlatt before, but it's uh, what really? Yeah, we had gone. We we went without you. Without you, where. Ted, you weren't there. This reminds I don't me remember of my much except and it's, the fact that you weren't there. And it's funny because we actually did that in L.A. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> crazy. Uh, it's insane how fun it was. So y- they have the hot plate right, and they throw the meats on. Yeah, and you can do whatever you want with the tongs, and so. <laughs> <laughs> or, or it's so like a money. bonus. Well, or so they say. Are you like flipping it around? Well, or so they say, though. But we didn't really have too much freedom with it. No, like we must have. We must have. Yeah. Yeah. We they said have. that's why I was laughing because you said you could do whatever you want, but really we couldn't. Exactly. Yeah, in most places that I've been to, they let you do whatever you want, but yeah. they we must have looked like children <laughs> sitting in front of the hot plate because well, the lady, the lady just like came up to us and she just grabbed the tongs out of our hands. It was like. Well, because originally the first plate we got was the brisket, and it had like maybe thirty little like rolls oh, of yeah. the brisket, and Schlatt was roll. individually was placing one. them in. And this this lady came up, and she was like, <laughs> and then Schlatt was like, "All right, hands it over." And then she just goes, <laughs> and just puts turns the, whole the plate thing vertically, in. and just <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then just starts world. like, and, and they do this thing where they take the tongs and they they open up wider so they can grab like a bunch and just like flip Sam. it and throw it and stuff. I, I feel like we learned over the course of it, though. Like, at the end of it, we were making it ourselves. Yeah, but... we were making some schmeat, and I would take most of it and put it on my plate. I felt like that's... It, do, you, do you feel like that's, you know, uh, an okay thing to do? If I introduce them to, to this food that I enjoy, and I'm cooking the food, it made I it... ordered the food, I'm paying for the food, well, it made it more I okay take w- the meat. It made it more okay when you ended up paying for the food at the end. Yeah, I took the meat. I put my credit we, card There down. was no determination of who was paying for the food that night, though. Well, yeah, well I mean, I, I think it's I pretty... feel like Korean barbecue is survival of the fittest. Yeah. You cook really? the food, you get it. There's one pair of tongs that's in That's my one hands. thing that was nice about having that person there, though, is that they, was somet- they were sometimes there when the meat was finished, so they would, like, yeah. spread it out evenly, and it was, that was I nice. didn't like that. You didn't like that? You no, I wanted all out the Out of control. Take everything you I, could, you, I could just keep going. I love the free-for-all Korean barbecue places because I'll just keep getting bulgogi, that thin sliced beef, and I'll just yeah. keep going. Really? I'll just keep eating. How 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 much? How many plates of it have you gotten? Like the most? Oh, jeez, you could get. I could eat like six of them, six full plates of that of that bulgogi shit. Oh my god! How, what percent of a plate is a cow? Could you eat a whole cow? Of oh, bulgogi? There's got, it's got, a cow's got to yeah. be like cows a lot. <clears throat> Several well, thousand what plates. About a Several tiny thousand b- plates? Are you, are, you about to say, Whoa. are you about to say, what about a tiny cow? A tiny cow. Tiny cow. <laughs> <laughs> maybe like a, a maybe bulgogi a cow. Not, not, a, not a young one, but a really small one. <laughs> it's very not a baby. thinly no. sliced it's beef. Thin. It's thin stuff. I guess it depends on where it comes from, though. It probably comes from a specific part of the cow. Animal agriculture is the number one cause of climate change. True. Um, and oh, let me just stop be, eating bulgogi. And we're Fuck all, you, bro. And we're all going to be... I'm, uh, not, I'm not stopping. Collapse of society, MIT by 2040, according to Charlie. According society. to MIT? What do you mean, according to Charlie? <laughs> well, no. According to MIT, according to Charlie. Okay. We, none of us have looked this up ourselves. This like you third, told us this this morning. Stuff. Yeah, I mean, Jaden, how do you feel about the you know inevitability of, of the, the march we're doing? Just that's towards, a great question. Just towards disaster. Yeah, that's a great question. Just to open it up to you. Total societal... Keep on marching. Keep on marching. You heard towards it first. towards <laughs> societal collapse is yeah. what we're marching towards, mm-hmm. and you think that's By march towards it or through well, it? Everyone towards should it. experience something once. Well, everyone's <laughs> going to well, experience it at the same exactly, time. For exactly sure. one time. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, uh, you mean us as a species is what you're talking about? Yes, like as a team. Mm. No, cool. No, I, it's okay. Yeah. An ex- an no, I'm down. And I like it. I, I like selling it as an experience. Wow. Yeah. I am not going to stop using plastic straws 
when there are people infinitely oh, more powerful than me awesome. that can light the fucking ocean on fire. Mm -hmm. Is that fair? Why do I feel the need to recycle anymore There's a lot of when they're lighting the fucking you. ocean up? How do you even light the ocean on fire? Well, you put oil well, in it. Oil everyone's got to experience one thing once. Everybody's <laughs> got to experience lighting up the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone deserves to once. go to the Redwoods. <laughs> the oil out there. Off the checklist. Well, I mean, according, according to Boraf, you could, you could run right into a Redwood tree and knock them over. Apparently, they've got very shallow roots. Yes. Huh? Have you ever run into a, like, run headfirst into a Redwood tree before with a vehicle? N no. Well, you there's know what they say. <laughs> there is a first. You know what? Thing. Where are they located? You know what they say. Keep on marching. <laughs> N the redwood forest. That's where they I are. I don't know where that is. Oh. Huh. Damn. Mm. <clears throat> so. <clears throat> so what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> what do you want? Why don't you know where the redwood forest is? I don't know where a lot of things are. Schlatt? Yeah. No, it's okay. I, I feel like we should all go around and just kind of mention some issues we got. Well, what is that? <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. But before, I'm sorry. Before we go into it, you just what is that? Of, you just that's kind of thick water, you just isn't it? Parched. No, it's not. No. <laughs> what do you mean? It's it's just, just got you a little relative I mean, <laughs> relative to other water. I mean, maybe, but why would I drink that when so, I have Voss water right here? No, no. You don't have that. You don't have that. <laughs> what the hell is that? What the hell is that? How many I'm out of it. Yeah, Jaden came. Jaden came into the this the the the. GG office, Game Grump, Good go. with like five bottles of Voss. It's true. It's true. Uh, but but this is the only water that you should really be drinking. Is it really cold? Really <laughs> no. It's warm, isn't it's it? It's been warm. It's I mean, been, it's, hey, no listen, it's, it's water. Been left I out. You know the clear Elmer's glue? Yeah. It kind of yeah. looks a lot like that. It's got well, a consistent gluey glue consistency. Don't, don't right? put it. You picked it up now. Well, uh, you well, can't, you put, can't put, it, put it down now. That, that wouldn't make sense. You need a drink. Oh, she just went for it. How is that? It tastes like plastic. Okay. It's not that bad, Thank though. Thank God someone else has said that. The taste really gets to me. And you guys are like, it has no smell, it has no taste, and it's more than thick. It's like weird. Sorry, I just. Mm -hmm. Ty and I have both I had little, like a I very a large liberated. amount of thick water in our time. And, Did uh, you put it in cereal? We had it in cereal. Yeah. Yep. <gasps> we had it in. Uh, I I had it out of the bottle that was just poured from it. It was. It was. It was. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I, I just absolutely. Oh, misery. A uh, whole, whole mouth around it as well. I, I, oh, just, no. I absolutely just. Tongue in the bottle. No. Yeah. I, I absolutely just good. chugged that thing. It's good. Went hard and long. Laughed at it. Strong. Um, tell us the trade secrets. Of. <laughs> <laughs> of which we talked a lot about a lot of things today so of, far. Um, of, yeah, of you two no, uh, or the criminal underworld. Yeah, <laughs> oh, you, you everybody knows that you're the uh, the kingpin of the of the YouTuber underground storytelling community. Storytelling mm. community. I what mean. is what is your favorite story? I don't know. I kind of stopped doing it. You stop doing you it. You don't believe in stories anymore? I won't tell a single story ever again. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so what do you do now? If anyone just, asks me to tell... Life is just one <laughs> flat road, man. You get, you, I don't talk you're, to you. You, you, go to, march. you go to court and someone, like, you have to tell the story of like someone getting like murdered and you're like, I refuse. I, <laughs> I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. You're like the only stories. witness. Me That's in my past. <laughs> So what do you do now if you don't tell stories? <laughs> Give me a um, tablet in 30 hours. I've been playing games and just talking about them. Mm. What kind of stuff? Uh, video games. Right. <laughs> Next You're question. a tough egg to crack. <laughs> that was good. I don't and know you're a tough egg to crack. <laughs> what kind of game? Like what kind of games are, are like, What is so number one game? What do you game, like game Jade? Number one game? Um, I don't know. Do you have a series or a genre that you like a lot? Um, the ones that are good for YouTube are really good. The ones I play. <laughs> We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Like what? Hey, Ian. Have you ever heard of Mario yeah. Dance Ian, Dance Revolution? Ian, is there Revolution? something here we're doing wrong? <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's good. big on that's YouTube. Good. That's huge on YouTube. Are we doing something wrong I, here, Ian? I can give you another fact. Yeah, give yeah, us yeah, another fact. Another fact. According to, uh, unmarried, according to the internet. She's mm. unmarried. Oh, okay. Jane, so when, you, do you like when are you tying the knot with anyone? <laughs> anyone? <laughs> I don't First know. First person I see. First um, person you see? What's the date? Um, Today is the 15th. Christmas Eve. Christmas, Christmas Eve? Eve? You're gonna get married by that Christmas sounds Eve? Sounds like the plot of like a no. Hallmark movie is exactly what that is. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get married, the first guy I see on Christmas Eve. Oh, <laughs> I was, man steps yeah. would you star in a Hallmark movie? That's a very good point, Charlie. Um, why not? 
Okay, yeah, that's good. Why not, right? What's yeah, it about also, besides Christmas? I'm usually about Christmas. What are any of them fucking about? They're all sort of just... Love? Love. Family? Love. Someone Hold doesn't on. like Christmas, and then they are they're learned to told like it. otherwise, and then they change their It's called the hero's journey. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> <laughs> Hallmark <stages>. movies. <laughs> Hallmark. <laughs> favorite, favorite Christmas movie? I like a Christmas story, actually. Mm. That's I used to one. just watch it every Christmas. I mean, when else would you watch it? Stupid, yeah, that's true. You, you're dumb. <laughs> I list, I watch, uh, my favorite is A Year Without a Santa Claus. I like Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. That's a song. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's, a, it's an animated, no, it's movie. An animated, animated movie. movie. It's an animated movie. And it sucks fucking ass. It is what so happens unbelievably bad. Uh, it's an anti-capitalist well, I, movie. <laughs> it's a bit anti-capitalist. <laughs> it's incredibly yeah. anti-capitalist because Santa Claus uh, hits some uh, grandma. Uh, spo- spoilers, Here's the thing that sucks: spoilers. grandma doesn't actually die. She, what? It's actually worse. She doesn't remember her children. Instead, uh, um, oh. she gets amnesia, and she like calls. She <laughs> fucking her like I kid comes this. up, and she's like, "Who are you, you bastard?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, well, doesn't she get it back ever? Or well, no? Let me, yeah, let me go. Uh, so the, let me go. <laughs> <laughs> let me go. <laughs> yeah, that's what uh, the grandma said when Santa Claus abducted her and kept her well, in the North Pole. Well, I mean, Pole, he, he fucking happens. nailed the lady he with does. a with a reindeer. So it turns out, yeah, the um, and that again, sounds bad. Spoilers for Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, guys. If you haven't seen it yet, we've all heard the fucking song. <laughs> we know what happens. Bro. So this poor grandma, again, spoilers, does in fact get hit by a reindeer. Dude, the goose well, is on the table. Just. Well, Get they, to the point. But <laughs> what they don't tell you is that the sister who wants to like own she wants to own the grandma's shop put poison in the in the pie for grandma to kill the grandma, but the poison actually also attracts reindeers and reindeers really like it. So the reindeers fly in with Santa Claus and hit her. Um and the sister who doesn't believe in Christmas and simultaneously also is acting to frame Santa Claus for the murder to settle and take all of his money. Uh, uh, they find grandma again, and then the, the, like, daughter kidnaps her and puts her in a shed. The grandma's got amnesia. You have such an advanced and comprehensive knowledge of this movie that I've I would have never fairly, expected. I've seen it fairly recently. There's, they do, like, a little hula dance. Um, it's, and money is, the enemy. money is the money enemy. Why do they do that? Money is the enemy. I, I, I'm just impressed. I mean, you, just the other day you were telling me you don't have any long-term memory. This is different. This is important. I watch this every night before I go to bed. (laughs) You don't want to forget. (laughs) I spend every night with this movie, and I watch it, and I rub the VHS tenderly. No. Oh, that's that's where you draw the line, Schlatt? That's where I draw the line. That's where you draw the line. Oh, okay. You're rubbing VHS tapes like that, dude. No one does that. Surely they've burned it onto DVD by now. Surely it's on a Blu-ray. I don't know where we f- I think we just found it on some dark corner. On the what ground. Made, um, <laughs> <laughs> some literal dark corner up there. Just that, hey, look that at was this. That was I think I'll watch this every day row. for the rest of my life. <laughs> Definitely like an unfinished basement with, uh, you know, greased, oh, crazy greased and or stained <laughs> cement in the bottom. What up, Chucklers? It's Ted. I'm here to talk about today's sponsors for this episode of Chuckle Sandwich. This week, Chuckle Sandwich is proud to be sponsored by Keeps. If you didn't know, two out of three men will experience some sort of hair loss by the time that they're 35. And our friends at Keeps offer a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. They have convenient virtual doctor consultations and medication delivered to your door every three months so you don't even have to go outside, you you hobo. And it's low cost. Treatments start at just $10 per month and Keeps offers generic versions. They've got discreet packaging, proven results, and Keeps has more five-star ratings than any of its competitors. Prevention is key. Treatments can take up to four to six months to see results, so you better act fast. Go to keeps.com slash chuckle to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's keeps.com slash chuckle to get your first month of treatment free. Chuckle Sandwich is also proudly sponsored today by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. You can skip those annoying trips to the grocery store where you have to interact with people, and you can count on HelloFresh to make home cooking so freaking easy. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh is over 30% cheaper than shopping at the grocery store, and with pre-portioned ingredients, you're going to make sure that you have exactly what you need and no excess food is going to be going in the trash. HelloFresh also offers the flexibility you need to easily customize your order on the app within minutes. 
You can easily change your delivery day, your food preferences, and your plan size. Or you can skip a week whenever you need to. This is me going off the books right now. When I was in college and I was also doing YouTube at the same time, I pretty much relied on HelloFresh in order to get the food that I needed to survive as a human. It saves you the time that you would take going to the grocery store and then also finding specific recipes and how you want to make them and stuff like that. It's a, it's a very big time saver all around. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Chuckle14 and use code Chuckle14 for up to 14 free meals, including free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Chuckle14 for up to 14 free meals. Now let's get back to the episode. Um, right. Jaden, why animation? I mean, why'd you start? Um, Why? I don't know. I I just started. I, <laughs> oh, really? I was like, this seems cool, did and you, I never stopped. Did you have a thing for the DSI Flip Note Studio? I did. I play, oh, I use that baby. so much. What kind of stuff Flip, did you Flip Note make on Studio. Flip Note. You know the banana stuff. song? <laughs> oh, it's the like Onision? The ring, ring, ring. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it as a kid. You want to hear something funny? I loved it so much. Next. I made a Flip Note you for You want to hear something <laughs> funny? I literally, <laughs> I literally played that song the banana phone song mm -hmm. like maybe four days ago on my speaker just because i wanted to hear it really? again really the onision no no <laughs> Which no, no, no 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 the <laughs> ring 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 banana, banana phone, phone. Bum, 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 bum. you know it's a real life mama and a papa phone I had the burrito song. Do you know the burrito song? I don't think Not I the only This ring, is ring, the ring, best ring. burrito yeah. I've ever <laughs> eaten. They've, they made a flip note out of that one, yum, too. Yum, like food yum. review, right? Yeah. Yeah. Plenty of cheese. I know plenty the, of rice. I know the damn, damn, damn. You know that one? No. Crespity Crunch. Look at the bacon. You don't put bacon in the burrito. You don't put bacon in the Breakfast fucking burrito, bro. bro. I'm making Maybe. reference so to that Shmoyo not... thing. I love, oh my the god, damn, that was what I was thinking damn, of. Shmoyo, yes, yes, that's exactly what I was thinking of. Crusty Crunch. Damn. Look at the bacon. Yeah. So did, it's, did a, it's, a, it's a remix of a guy who was eating a Five Guys food, burger yeah. for the first time, and he Ooh. was, yeah, no, mm. it's um, it's good. So no, I gotta it, show it to you. Was it just that, or did you experiment a little with flip note? Is that where it all started? Um, did it start before that? I just kind of made what I was like, I don't even know how old I was, 12, 13 at the time. I just, you know, you make your voice all high pitched yeah. and then you animate oh to it. Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, I don't remember any of the the other flip notes I made, but I just remember the banana s song and I showed it to my parents. And it was so, they were so proud. Really? They, and yeah. <laughs> they're you like, this big, kid's going somewhere. You weren't big on the, the Hatena? Well, yeah. Well, you no, I, di I didn't. I made them, but I didn't post oh, them. My dad was like, them? you should post them to YouTube. And I was like, no, never. I used to do a thing <laughs> when I was younger. And I would take, on Family Roaches with the DSI, I would take photos of the side of the road. And then I would draw. My bad. I would draw little <laughs> characters oh, God. falling or hitting signs and yeah. shit on the side of the road. Dude, I feel like everyone had the same collective memory with the DSI. Yeah, man. You remember the stock DSI flip notes? The dude who was like, Shh, yeah, and, and then he, he ran he over to the fucking. Yeah. 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 It was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it was like, <laughs> like flip note bin yes, recently dude. with all the yeah. stick fights. Mm -hmm. They're so good. The boss. Flip notes, yeah. the stick where the, the stick feet, the feet go like this at the end, they go like in a triangle. Yeah, they do like Those a ice, flare. They're so cool. I drew my stick men like that, that for like yeah. years. Yeah, that was the first time I realized that you like that was the first time I started putting the arms of the stick guys from on the, the head. Control. Yeah, on the head. Instead of just they yeah. come out of the head and not torso. not a fucking ten foot long I'm neck. So glad <laughs> this is the oh shit! Race. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I drew mine like that too. No, you didn't. No, I did. I did when I when I wrote Pie Wars. Oh. Pie Wars, what's that? It was a series, a comic Crazy. book series of uh, a widely acclaimed <laughs> comic book series that I uh, ran when I was in elementary school. Mm. Um, ran is a strong word. <laughs> Did you sell copies? I was the writer, Director? artist, mm -hmm. producer, producer, publisher, translator. Um, translator to. 80 different languages now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wow. Um, <laughs> Worldwide phenomenon. New York but, bestseller. Uh, exactly <laughs> once. Yeah, no, I mean, I drew, it was like, I wish I could, I have a pen and paper, I want to give them a representation you gonna of, do a, oh, are you finally going to do edition two of, of Pie Man? I can show you exactly how I would draw them. 
Borov's got us covered. Wait, can you give me a piece of paper at the same time so oh. I can draw my pie guy that I used hmm. to draw and Ooh. we can see if they're the oh, same? Oh, Borov is really coming through right now. Borov. Out of Borov. Oh any, my like, god. Whoa. Characters he's got in his, particular. He's got you, got okay. As a kid, I had a little characters. I had like. Okay. This I'm big eyed page. guy and Plot a raccoon. To kill <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what Joe said. Biden. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Borov, what's going okay. on here? So I would draw the here, characters. I'm not going to look. I'm going to do mine. Like, yeah. thank you. Whenever I would draw these stick men, basically they would have one eye like this and then one eye like that that overlaps it, and then a, ma- a nose like that, and then a smiley face. <laughs> and then for some <laughs> reason, they always had like. Oh, like Diary of a Wimpy Kid style. But this was before Diary of a Wimpy oh, Kid. Oh, so. That looks like a Mad Lib. What? You're right. Yeah, that, it looks like that a Mad was, Lib. That is true. A noun. Tomato. Yeah, that was some of the characters. I mean, some of them had like crazy hair, like the Whoa. head or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Is that and the original so, pie and that guy? Is, and that is the original Pie Wars character. Now, there was the pie drones. This was a... This was a that's the real, oh, that's, that's the real one. That's the real one. This is my pie guy. Nice. If we can get that looks yeah. re- he looks really get cute actually. I love that. He has a little gun. This was a <laughs> universe in which everything was fought with pie. So to give you a representation of how I would draw the pies. Very good. Hold that it. Or if you're missing the pies, come on, get the pies. This is the pies. Oh, you is ah. this another angle right we got right here? Wow, this is awesome. It's a very fancy camera. It's like a foot long. And then Is it heavy? Not too bad. Awesome. Uh, uh, doing a Always what is draw them with like awesome. the little, yeah. little flared feet, you know? Yeah, and then sometimes the arms would be kind of nub at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, like, like this. We're giving everyone a pencil and paper except <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm then, the guest, I get nothing. Here's the, here's the <laughs> Jane, pie drone. <laughs> this is what the pie drone looks like. Pie drone? Yeah, they would shoot the pie. Mm. This but, is fun. But and the bad guy. So much lore. Yeah. For our audio listeners. <laughs> Fuck you. Sorry. For our audio <laughs> listeners. Screw you. What I do with it. You need to draw something. Maybe like, a, what if you did a little pie guy? I feel bad. A little pie guy? That. I feel like I'm putting you on the spot. Um. I drew a. Pie well, now that I've seen yours, I just want to plagiarize it. You can plagiarize my pie guy. <laughs> I forget the what I, he looks the, yeah, like. Yeah, the IP is in the uh, in the public. You remember the bad guy that looked like <gasps> this? Do you remember the fucking bad guy that yeah, looked like this in Mark every dude, single so in every bad. single He's footnote so studio boss fight? Yes. He was so cool. Dude, that was the guy, and he just and he just point, <laughs> and people would just start fucking flying at the Hundreds. hero. Yeah. He'd do the fucking. You were going exactly. so fast exactly. trying to get that representation going too. <laughs> yeah. Like the little like fucking like little hand and then all the yes. things. Yeah. Yeah. And the camera would zoom death. that yes. way yes. into the guy and it's just a, like it's a so much lightning. stick figure with like a giant spike out of his head. He's like a unicorn man. Mm. Or, you know, love you to death, audio listeners. I'm sorry. This is a very visual yeah, episode. It is a lot of visual <laughs> Sometimes he would have fire, the other guy was blue. Yes. I fire yeah. versus <laughs> ice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is awesome. Wow. I love this. Such nostalgia. Um <laughs> Are you gonna ruin it? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I was ready to just completely Good change the topic, but we can stay on it. Yeah, I, I the other thing I like to draw is I drew Pie Guy, and I drew only the head of Sonic the Hedgehog. You know, mm. you know who Pie Guy reminds me of? <laughs> he doesn't need anything I didn't know else. How to do the rest. It all got really confusing for me. You don't need the rest. Mm-hmm. You know who Pie Guy reminds me of? Looking at him right now, he's kind of how I imagined in my mind Marvin. Marvin the Magic Meatball. Mm-hmm. We did a um, we did a. Do you play Dungeons and Dragons? So now we figured out that this mm-hmm. has to come out after the D and D episode. Yeah, we were we've referred to it a lot. We're chronological. Have we really? Yeah, I think so. Um, we did a little D and D thing I ran for them where mm. I took them through like a sandwich dungeon, and they nice. met Marvin the Magic Meatball, crawled out of a meat ravine, and then they killed, we killed him, him brutally, brutally, instantly. Well, he deserved to die. Yeah, I used my fire rod. It was actually a, it was a rod of grease. Grease. grease well, rod. that's the same thing. Yeah, I had his full character arc <laughs> written as well. I crumbled it up. And I love it. it. Get, yeah. Have you ever played Dungeons and Dragons before? Um, I've played once, one session, and I was like, this seems cool. And it's kind of like the first one you have to 
get into it. Yeah, yeah. you do. And then that group never played ever again. Really? So it's good that you didn't have a seems... bad experience because it can be really good or really bad. With I think people. like I would really enjoy what do you mean it. it. I just have really bad. Like, if you, I mean, if you're with like sort of a, a weird nerd group and like no one really understands. Yeah, the rules, I don't want to play D and D with know, nerds. So, like, the rules. <laughs> 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 Who was your guy? Yeah, that's what we do a weigh in uh, before I don't anyone plays. I played like I don't know three or three or four years ago. Mm. I don't really remember the people. Wow. <laughs> yeah, in an open-ended like tabletop game, it's very easy to like do something weird or like not know the rules of improv or shut other people down or like I'm gonna kill the other player because that's <laughs> what my guy would do. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are great though. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't really. Yeah, we did. We did one part where where <laughs> where Schlatt greased me. I greased him. With the rod? And then I tried to punch him, and I missed, yeah. like, badly. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, like, <laughs> slipped on the grease. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. funny. So it was uh, pretty frustrating. Um, but, I mean, God. If you want to with Dungeons & Dragons at any point, I've got a little... I've got a little yeah, I'm down to play anytime. Yeah, I've got a little... Thing. Yeah, um, I'd love to play again. Are you, like, a... Uh, I mean, board games at all, or is it pretty much all sort of video games? Um, I'm down for anything, really. As long as it's fun. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, lots of lots of games going on here. I'm leaving you at that's the dry awesome. right now, Charlie. <laughs> what yeah, other no, games do fine. you play? No, don't salvage it. Um, I like my favorite game series. Is I really like the Infamous games. It sounds familiar, the, but I don't think I. So one of the guy goes the around in New York, right? He goes around in uh, it's yeah Empire City, not New York at all. Um, Empire shoots, City. It's lightning. Yeah, it's fun. Mm. Empire. How about Empire State City? It yeah, it is New York. It's New York. Yeah, basically. Um, but yeah, I'm also very excited for the. Did you see like the new like, like they're making a new Nickelodeon game? The Smash yeah, one. Yeah, the Smash. I one. want Cat Dog to be in it. I, want I think he's in it. He's really? The, yeah, he's on the I'm going to main cat he's dog. Like a silhouette. He's, he's awesome. On the box art? Oh, um, that's a good one. I want to play Doug Dimidome. Oh. That would be better. awesome. Him and his hat. His down tail, his down tail <laughs> would just be his hat growing larger and <laughs> smashing it. You or, stay or, on the side and you just go like that with the hat. Yeah, or his. Uh, Dimidome down air. You know what would be a really good um, a down B for Doug Dimidome? His hat turning to metal, and then him falling by the weight of that hat turning metal. Well, mm, it doesn't like it have Kirby? to be canonical? No, it, it does doesn't not. have to be canonical. What, well, what, he's what do you a know sheriff. about Doug he got Canonical fighting it has moves to be, has fucking Doug Dimidone it has done to, besides standing I, there. I, I he's got, got his surely he's a sheriff. He's Doug got guns. Doug Dimidone doesn't have That's that much true. to his that name. Let's be honest here. He should have a big hat only He should like handcuff people, and you can't move, and then he wins. So he's just a police officer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, this is Doug Dimino is now a police officer. Well, he's, he's the, the sheriff. sheriff. No, he's oh, not the sheriff. I thought he was the sheriff, sheriff but he looks like both. Police officer. I don't think that Doug Dimidon is the mayor. He's the owner of the Dimsdale Dimidon. That's what yeah. he is. Let's not. He looks not like beat he's a bit. He's a he's a he's frivolous a businessman. Yeah. Yeah. He's he is he's very much so a capitalist. Did you mm. um, speaking of cat dog as well? Like was and that capitalism you, and cat dog and capitalism linked together really mm -hmm. two sides of the same coin yes mm -hmm. um were there any sort of cartoons or animated things that inspired you or anything you really liked growing up um growing up i don't know what was wrong with me but i was inspired <laughs> like You're just nothing i would consume things and then go about my day as if it never happened but i liked spongebob yeah, well, we all do well, you just I like liked... forgot everything wait do you I remember don't... anything um, <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, but I think, you, you know, you got here. <laughs> well, no, no. When Jaden said that she, we, we, I was asking Jaden if she would she'd be showing up and she told us probably. And to Schlatt, she said, uh, I said, see you in an hour, yo. Mm -hmm. And she said, that's if I show up. <laughs> So it seems like there's a lot of just so like, all you do is consume you, you, and march forward, <laughs> and you <laughs> float. <laughs> you're, you are like a jellyfish <laughs> floating through. That's how the I life. got here. That's wow, awesome. that's incredible. Um, I f <laughs> Any other YouTubers or anything you really liked growing up? Um, as a kid, um, my first subscription ever was Sky Does Minecraft. <gasps> mm. I remember it Minecraft. like like it was seven years ago, yeah. and it was. More or less, yes. Um, and then I just 
uh, consumed. Consumed. Continued and that, the march and I've of not stopped since. Yeah. <laughs> so one thing you you might still have fresh in your brain is all the word hunt games that uh, I've totally kicked your ass at. Well, I've won over and over again. Like five percent of the time, I win. That's true. Uh, I'm not going to mention the darts or the archery. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but I mean. Is there uh, is there any like shame that comes with losing the word hunt games? No. no, I feel nothing when I lose and everything when I win. I guess that's a good mindset. <laughs> we're, we're talking about the game pigeon games, you know, the iPhone. I'm mobile. aware. I'm yeah. just listening. Yeah. Have you heard of Apple at all? Do you know phones? <laughs> <laughs> Apple food. Have you heard of <laughs> <laughs> Apple food. Not phone. Not <laughs> Joe Steve Biden. Jobs, so chef. What, so what are you ashamed Joe of? Biden. Um, <laughs> Joe nothing. Biden, wake up. That's good. That's a good Apple little. food. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and we're, we're so happy to have you here on the podcast, Jane. <laughs> Wait, say uh, that after just... every question. Holy why, shit. Why did you do that? I've she, been she's sipping me- it. She's have metal as shit, another dude. sip of the... Is I she... kind of didn't really notice it because... It, no, she it felt drink... normal. Well, she, the first sip that she took was super normal, too. You do feel no... It's just no shame. <laughs> you feel no I don't normal. like emotions. No. Oh. Is that a true statement? Go or into that. Just saying that. <laughs> it's more true than you think. <laughs> I'm going to therapy. That's good. I, yeah, I just started going recently. Everyone in the world should right. go to therapy. I agree with that. Yeah, 100%. It's it's one of those things where there's actually a lot of like my uh, my sort of parents have the philosophy. It's like sort of a ah, mm. you know what? yeah. <laughs> no, a, you can't say no, you know a, after that because we don't. It's a, it's a general like yeah maybe, but they have no intention. Maybe it's like, what? I'm not weak enough to go to therapy. Oh, yeah, you know it's, what I mean? I'm yeah. not crumbling yet. <laughs> when in when in reality, it's like it, to me, it's like working on a muscle. Right? Yeah, it's <gasps> keeping it. Yeah, yeah, it's keeping yourself keeping, keeping it yourself out. mentally mentally healthy, and it's really yeah. important. So, yeah, it's good, good stuff. Yeah, very good. Do you have mental abs? Mental abs? Do you do mental crunches? <laughs> what is a mental crunch? I don't know. How many can you do? Probably a lot, but I'd like the definition. I think it would be epic if you had mental abs. You know why? Why? Because. Your, my brain looks it like prevents an ice cube you from. <laughs> it prevents. It prevents you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it lets you resist what they call the mental freeze, unless Charlie just made that reference. The mental freeze. Yeah, it What's lets you resist freeze? what people call the mental freeze. No, I've got the mental mm. freeze. What is that? That's when. You, that's when you, you roll down in the deep, and your brain gets numb. <laughs> you could probably call. That I walked into that freeze. one. <laughs> yeah. um, hey Charlie, you're not. Sorry. Uh, hey, no, Ian. what's up? Oh, Could my you, God. What do you think I'm going to ask you? Hey, Ian. I really don't know. Ian, what do you know about <laughs> rolling down in the deep? Can we just... Can you, can you um, More tell Jaden us... facts. Can you bring us some Jaden facts? Yeah. Just Jayden. throw us throw some Jaden facts. Please say them in an incriminating way as we well. We didn't do yeah. the research beforehand. I mean, we've got no idea We're afraid yeah, this who this person facts, is. Actually. Okay. Uh, and, and really, I just want to promise you, this is, this is all I have to pull from. Say it like it's a problem. Five six. She's five six. Five oh, six? No. Is that really what true? Wow. Is that no. Oh, I, really true? I promise really I'm true? five seven. Yeah, you <laughs> actually okay. I mean Yeah, no, I'm like i I'm six seven. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> mm. exactly. Yeah, I'm like five hundred. <laughs> you lied to me. I didn't lie to you. You should lie to me. I'm just I have a question for you. I a normal know you. Person. Mm-hmm. And so how do you truth. feel about every lied. other content creator being absolutely <laughs> massive for no like perceivable reason? Is this like something I only I've seen, but like everyone is so goddamn tall, <laughs> but only like in this job? Um, people are either really tall or really short. That's fair. Um, I'm not impressed by tall people. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Nothing, doesn't matter anything about their personality. Anything well, I don't do think that I, I, I think that that's a good point. I don't think that tall people should be impre- impressive by the virtue of their height alone. Yeah, yeah. you would feel that way. But you? is it? Are you <laughs> so also you saying that like? Any tall person, because they're tall, you will go out of your way to not be impressed by them. <laughs> oh, you're not all that. <laughs> oh, you won an Olympic gold medal. I write off medal. anyone oh, that's taller than me. Oh, you're over six yeah. four. I get it. You're above. Uh, How's the teeth. weather up there? You know? <laughs> the entire NBA. Fuck them. <laughs> I hate basketball because they're tall. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, basketball. Am I shorter? Am I shorter? Tall. Uh, stand up. No, you have to tell him. 
Stand oh, up. I don't know. Stand up. No, no, no. You're but do, do you even know? You've seen me. No, I, do, I don't. I don't know. How tall am I? Six one. Awesome. How tall are you? Not that. <laughs> Shorter. I, th- I think he's, taller. I think he's he's, five, 11, he's in the fives. Feet. He's oh. in the fives. Yeah. Well, let's. How tall yeah. do you think I am? I thought you were like five ten or five eleven. Okay. I'll say five ten. Five ten. Jesus Christ. You five eight. Five seven. Five six. <laughs> Dude, are, you, are you fucking four eleven? <laughs> five seven. Five, One six. thing is, I was definitely supposed to be really short. My whole family, like my See, my I, grandpa's four eleven. I have the same. My yeah. other family is all Japanese. They're teeny tiny, and then my my I'm taller than both my parents. I had the same situation where I did I did all right in the mm-hmm. long run. Are both I, of your parents really small? They're like both a little shorter than me. I'm like yeah. I'm like five eleven. I, I don't understand why. Not, There's like, always a conversation I feel like that comes up where people are like, I'm not the height I was supposed to be. <laughs> but in reality, you always end up being the height you're supposed to be. Oh, All wow. Right. That sounds very Calvinist of you, yeah. Ted. I mean, what is free will? And to oh, yeah. I don't sure. know. Yeah. Well, I'll see you in hell, buddy. You grow. <laughs> go, go pray to Martin Luther. Why don't you? <laughs> okay, bud? <laughs> How tall is Martin Luther King? No, no, Where the but, hell is you? Not I need king. you to fact check. Oh, okay. How tall is Martin Luther King? Where did you? How did you we're not talking did, about. We're talking know, about Martin Luther. He's pulling the out self determination and well, shit. Well, I need all to know that too. Calvinist. How tall is God? God is five eleven. God is omni, omniscient. <laughs> I imagine and omnipresent omni, omni, and omnibenevolent. Uh, yes. Martin Luther King Jr. was five seven. We never <gasps> talked. I'm Martin Luther King Jr. Yes. Yes. Congratulations, Jaden. Oh, this is a revolution. I'm finally the person oh I God. was intended to be. weird thing to say. I'm a hero. <laughs> well, wow. If it was any taller, you look up, you you look up uh, vicious no. di- Ian, can you look up vicious dictators that are 5'7 real quick? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Isn't yeah. Santa Claus 5'7 too? Uh, I also found out that Jaden is allergic to cats and vegan. Actually, You're allergic I'm, to vegans? I'm not... You're a um, cat? I'm not allergic to cats anymore. That fact is also incorrect. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All, they've Wait, all no. been wrong so far. Really? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean anymore? I decided lose, not like, to be anymore. Well, it's like allergies can switch over like every like what is it, seven years in. Seven, I used yeah, to like seven. my best friend as a really? kid always had cats. Ian, look it up. Oh, got it. <laughs> How is Ian supposed to search when do allergies switch? That is honestly <laughs> fucking insane. That's his. That's his. First it's bees, his, then it's manners. Sure it is your snails can <laughs> hey, be the you point. Want, do you want some snail facts? Okay, so here's the thing. Guys. No, listen, I've actually listen. done a little bit of research. Vladimir Putin's five seven. Oh. Whoa. No. You wanna, oh. Hey, hey, you're uh, Russian. Hey, Jaden, you mm. want to bounce off of that? <laughs> Well, here, here's no. the thing. The point of the point of having Ian there is to give him ridiculous standards on on getting information as fast as possible. It's mm. not supposed to. It's not like I actually expect him to give me the information within like two seconds. Although he does been doing a really good job of predicting when I'm about yeah. to ask him a question, which has kind of been scary. So, Jaden, did you mm. know uh, snails? Right? Yeah. What they can do is they can go into their shell and create what's called an epithelium <sighs> using the mucus of their bodies. They can do some species even several layers of it. Mm-hmm. And the more epithelium you have, the more able the snail is to weather cold or sort of uh, drastic temperature oh shifts. My God. Yeah, so, so he's like sewing himself a coat. He does, yeah. But the thing with snails as well that is more interesting about that uh, is that they can preserve themselves over long periods of time. So, for instance, a snail that you know is this is sort of a fun thing to imagine. Imagine a big, like, sort of glacial shift, right? And the poor snail's crawling away. Glacier gets too close. Snail starts to get cold. Of course, creates an epiphram for itself. Mm. The glacier washes over that snail. That snail can exist for up to four years encased in that ice, and then one day just decide, oh, I'm going to come out now and I'm going to be alive. Like break himself out of the ice? I'm well. I think the ice would probably have to melt. He used to think that <laughs> he used to think that snails would become fossils, and then. Not and in a way, it's not super false because the shell is a calcium carbonate that the snail creates. Mm. Um, so they're living forever. Schlatt's sickum. In a in a way, snails are closer to immortality than we we can be. It's less of a hibernation and more. Well, of four a years is not immortal. How long do snails How normally live that? for? Fuck, Ian. <laughs> you got this. You know, it's a jellyfish that's immortal functionally. Mm. Yeah. yeah, they just keep Tell going. Me. Two to three years. Two to three years. That would be a doubling, if not it would tripling. Be. That's almost a right. hamster. Of their lifespan. But some of almost. the bigger ones can live up to 10 years. Oh. Whoa. That's, cool. That's a dog. That's a dog? Huh? It's a snail. That's a dog. 
Yeah. A snail is a dog. A snail is a dog and a mm. hamster. Incredible sometimes animals. a hamster, but um, sometimes a dog. If you had to choose, so you're a bird person. Yeah. Uh, if you had to choose, you could have one bird, and it could be any bird in the world, but it can't be the birds you currently oh, no. have. Absolutely a, a falcon. Ooh, really? A falcon. Mm. Would you have like the glove and everything? Yeah. Like, I've, I've, haven't you, I've like, had that observed... answer for the past 10 years. Why haven't you observed that option? Because I don't have time. Because they'll fucking kill you, Ted. <laughs> a falcon will squeeze your head and will it will make holes in your skull. Absolutely could. What if it has its hat on? If it has its little tiny hat on. Then he'll kind of swish the air. He'll, he'll, look, <laughs> he'll feel around and then grab and then onto anything. <laughs> the falconer's glove is total bullshit. It's just like, it's like the TSA. It's like security. <laughs> It's like security theater. It's there to make you feel safe, but in reality, it does nothing. I'm Someone's sure it saves coming you out some, with a bomb. That shit's blowing up. Saves you some scratches, though. No, but if true. a falcon wanted to, it could totally just take your arm with it. That's fair. What? Yeah. Have you seen? Hey, uh, Ian, how big is what a if falcon? I have a, a falcon talon? What if I had a falcon glove made of metal? No. You think a that falcon can rip through it'll metal? It'll get sweaty in there. It's not a velociraptor. Ian, Ian, search up way, the uh, the PSI of a falcon grab and then a human grab. I'm also getting the talent size. Well. <laughs> yeah, so I will Ian say. Has a few of things. One oh. other thing that I found: the fastest recorded speed of a falcon has been 240 miles. <laughs> <laughs> That's hour. awesome. It's fine. I got a leather. Well, while blood. diving, <laughs> going straight down. Give me a break. I will Humans say have gone that you're gonna go fucking straight diving. down if there's a falcon coming at you. Someone tweeted I, yeah. at me and they said, "Hey, Joel I Biden. saw like you like birds, and that made me realize I like birds, so I became a falconer." And Whoa. and I was like, "That's fucking awesome! That's the best thing ever." So, I don't know what they're doing. There was a tweet three years ago, but probably still, what hopefully, the... still being a falconer. Hopefully, yeah. So, if do you think and. This is a little silly. It's gonna be nonsense. Why would I reset? It's gonna be um, absolute nonsense. Read the fucking gabagool. <laughs> <But> sorry, <laughs> that was funny. You're right. It is. I was gonna ask you if you can like train a falcon to like kill people or some yeah, fucking probably. shit. Probably. Probably. Like train that. it to do other things. You can probably train you can. To kill people. Here's what you do. Oh God. What? Why do you know? <laughs> Here's you get, the steps. Char- Char- the Jaden, 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 this is all, gonna be absolute fucking no, nonsense. No, you get a man. tiny little finch it's bird, a mm. tiny little baby finch, tie yes. it up around its neck. Can't breathe anymore. Oh, you're just talking about what, like what Maya does to get a little whistle. Yeah, this is what Maya does. So I've watched one of these streams before. You don't need a whistle to get a tell little scarecrow, what, mm-hmm. right? A scarecrow. The finch lands at the foot of the scarecrow. Blow the whistle. Bird flies Man, over. You suck at attacks whistling. that shit. Dead scarecrow. I've never seen someone struggle to whistle as much as you. I actually have a harder time. It's all in the technique. I really? can't whistle. You guys, you guys. It's probably really good. Audio I can do well. the bird one. The owl oh, one. Oh, oh, that's good. Wait, how do you do that? It... I don't know. You blow on your knuckles. <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> That was just so aggressive too. You were like, I could do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jaden, what the hell? I'm gonna invent something that lets you do that. Anyways, you blow the whistle enough. The falcon is trained now. Mm. I go towards the humanoid That's not figure. How works. Hear the whistle. Stop go towards whistling. it. Attack it. Kill whistle. Stop! You're just blowing. All of a sudden, yeah, you-, you bring that falcon into Game Grump Studio. <laughs> Take the little hat off it, blow the whistle. You're having a fun time. Barf, mm, what would you do falcon. if I, uh, if I, we, what would you do if we brought a falcon into Game Grub Studio and let it just start flying through? I don't know. Go for it, man. He says, oh, go, for it. go for it. Go for it. Yeah. You train yeah. a falcon to fucking go when you make a little <laughs> sound. <laughs> I mean, we're all Lady Hawk fans here. Go for it, man. You yeah. totally could. My cat loves gorilla noises because really? I set up his automatic feeder to make them. Well, you actually haven't oh, told that's funny. when the food. You haven't said the new update. There is a new update to it. To uh, the cat feeder? Right, yes. So the cat feeder is automatic. It feeds him, you know, three or four times a day every time yeah. the food comes out. Um, it makes it... <laughs> did you record it or did you oh, like... I record I had to hold the button and do it right into the little feeder. Oh, gotcha. On the f- I was laying completely on my, on my ass just like... <laughs> Nice. You made that noise? Yes. That was really and now the cat, and now whenever you do it, he always is like, what? Huh? <laughs> he comes right over. Really? Mm-hmm. 
And now... And now he has started unplugging it because it rocks a little bit. So he goes to the little... It's plugged in with like a USB little power brick. Yeah. He goes with... Uh, rips it out of the socket. The machine wobbles a little bit and like two pieces of kibble fly out. He's like, so that's basically, worth it. <laughs> so basically, yes... It's like the Brave New World book by L. Deuce Huxley. You know that book, right? I soma, don't. Soma, Orgy, Porgy. They eat the Soma, <laughs> and now they have an instant gratification instead of waiting and doing the things that, that like the, the barbarian it's like does the, it's like outside. How by, by 2040. It's like the fish yeah. or the train the fish. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And so the cat now sacrifices long-term happiness, For sure, i.e. the, the mm-hmm. machine continuing to work for the rest of his life. Mm-hmm. He could, for two so, tiny pieces of kibble that come out when he unplugs it <laughs> and just completely kills his, well, his it's also food funny. I think the it's about the life. control. Well, he doesn't because you keep plugging it well, back I in. Well, I keep plugging it back in, so who's so the real that's sucker? Free food. Who's the real sucker? Exactly. It's also funny, too, because one of the things that Schlapp pointed out when he got this, this automatic feeder for Jambo was he was like, oh, you know. That's my, this is my Schlatt impression. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, if, oh. if, if I were to kick the bucket, <laughs> <laughs> if I were to kick the bucket, Jambo could live for maybe three, four months. <laughs> where, am, where am I from? <laughs> what is grill. your this heritage? Is <laughs> me, apparently. Um, he could. He to- no, he could not. Died, no, he could not. If, if I kicked the bucket, he'd eat me. No, he's... He would die. He would eat me. No, first. You're, Probably. Remember that old lady that died. Why do you sound sad? You just need to make What's gorilla that? noises when you die, and then he'll like come over to you. <laughs> Jambo, I have one last thing to say to you. No, but like, let's say <laughs> <laughs> on my deathbed. Live on, buddy. <laughs> but he, he would. He would eat you. Okay, so how long? I don't know how long a a, a schlatt nibble would. You know, I mean a schlibble. A schlibble, schlibble, maybe. I mean, it's not like he's gonna cut you up and like start putting you, covering you in your meat and salt and stuff so no, you can stay not. good longer. I mean, he's not. he doesn't really understand. You know, that's one of the ways that they preserve salt or meat when they brought it overseas and stuff in yeah. ships. And they they would cover it in salt. Yeah. Ian, how long mm. do human bodies last? How do um, when dead? Well, they get bloated <laughs> yeah. very fast because the gases fill up them. Mm. And the rigor mortis. You would know. What? Yeah. Yeah. Rigor mortis. <laughs> That's a fun one. Jambo wouldn't care. Like Jambo's got shit to do. Mm. Rigor mortis. Season five just came out, I think. Is that a... Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, 20... You okay? Yep. Uh, 24 oh. to 72 hours. <laughs> That's how long it well, lasts? Hours? It starts decomposing? Yeah. That is how long does it take to decompose? Three to five days. How long does it take a cat to eat? Like completely? <laughs> like there's exactly. nothing there that was my question. Yeah, exactly. There's nothing there but bones after five days. No. Well, surely well, that, there's like goo at the at the on the floor. What do you mean someone turns? Yeah. The well, that was the thing. So, so twenty-four to seventy-two hours, the internal organs decompose. Okay. Mm. That's me. Boris yeah, shaking so his. Gooey he's inside. not yum, like yum, yeah. Yum, I, yum, I, I knew that. Boris, I knew yeah, that. I've seen it. <laughs> there was this yeah. lady, this story of a lady, an old lady, old cat lady, like you, little little who cat mm-hmm. lady, died, and then the cats ate her. And subsisted off of that, so no one knew she was you dead for a like long you, time. Like it's a fucking cautionary tale. And she was, she was just, she was just this bones. Is an old wives' tale. They just found the bones. There was nothing left, and no one no, knew she had died. The TV was still on. Have your birds tasted blood? Oh yeah. Really? They bite me all the time. Oh. oh. That's just how <laughs> much. Sure talk about this. Sherry sure said that they bite her all the time. Yeah, yeah. I know, but it's like I don't, I don't think that. One of them a... draws blood or can draw blood. One the other of them, one, one of them comes up to you, gets like, <laughs> it it's, it's like it, it you made it sound like it was a nurse. <laughs> it does. One of them draws blood. The other gives me the shot. Do they do it to? Is it like one of those things where they're very tactile with their beaks, or are they just fuckers? Um, sometimes. Well, Ari's the one that's like big man. He kind of gets angry sometimes. Yeah. So if I'm like, all right, time to go to bed, he'll kind of hunker down, and you have to like you step put up. You the, the to bed. Yeah, because they have to go to sleep in a cage. Yes. So you let them out most of the time. Most of the time they're just chilling around. Yeah, I have really? like a that's separate awesome. office. Kind of I have a separate office space in my backyard that's supposed to be like a guest house for uh, old grandfather. That's grandpas. Like literally exactly like Alpharad. Yeah, but his is a pool house. Mine's an actual like it's got a kitchen. And oh, stuff. Cool. so I put that's them so in there, though. and then I leave. The parallels. Ooh. I mm-hmm. have, um, I recently just a couple Was... months ago got a couple of guinea pigs. <gasps> guinea pigs. They're great. It's Fern and Mochi. 
Oh, that's cute. I know. I miss them right now. Uh, but they've learned. They've picked up a couple things. They know when the, the like the lettuce drawer. They know the drawer. The lettuce with, drawer. With the lettuce in it. <laughs> yeah, they'll just, they'll just start like screaming, bloody murder. Really? What yeah. does it sound like? So you've set me up in an interesting position here because now I'm going to try and make a guinea pig noise, I guess. Yeah. It's like a. It's like a. Well, you could ask like Ian to make a whoop, whoop. guinea pig noise. Well, we whoop. want yours first, and then maybe YouTube video whoop. second. Whoop. 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 One month after death, your body liquefies. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Oh, that was awesome because we weren't talking about no, that anymore. We were talking about something so cute. So oh, that was awesome. Circling back around. Yeah. <laughs> One month after <laughs> death, your body liquefies. How it's made. Your, li- liquid body? Liquid body. <laughs> How it ends. How, How it, it ends. ends. Living flesh. Over metal, metal endoskeleton. endoskeleton. Have you heard of the living flesh over metal endoskeleton? No. Biocock. Biocock? <laughs> That's just not true. It, we, biocock was not even mentioned in Terminator. You talk about Biocock? No. Oh, they never mentioned a Biocock thing? once yeah. in Terminator? No, they don't. They show bio, it once at the beginning infinite. of T1 <laughs> when he spawns completely naked and starts walking towards those punks. <laughs> he spawns? Yeah. I don't know why it's so funny. Yeah, he he's, comes he's through a time portal, traveling. time portal. Yeah, I suppose portal. that's spawning. He spawns. Do you have a favorite movie? I don't really watch movies. Oh what, my god! What do you do? <laughs> like I don't know. That's the <laughs> I haven't been on the internet. I don't watch movies. Oh, let's talk about that. So Why? The, which, which color is the wall that you stare at? Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, actually, that's, I did bring yeah, up a good fair. question. Um, you haven't been on the internet for a month. Mm-hmm. Oh what have god. you been? Yeah. What have you been up to? Well, I'll I'll watch YouTube videos. Um, that's the internet, but I won't go on social media or anything smart. else or Netflix or that's anything. Smart. What? Not even Netflix. I don't really watch shows either. <laughs> what in, what inspired that choice? Was it just? Um, I was really like overwhelmed in in life, and I was like, I'm gonna. I'm a really like alone person, so when I'm overwhelmed, I need to be alone, and I, everything okay. was too much. So I was like, all right, friends, I'm not gonna talk to anyone. I'm not gonna use any screens at all. I'm just gonna sit in my house for a week, and then. Um, that happened. It was like that was really nice. Was that, <laughs> just time to recharge. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I did a lot of like journaling and, and writing and stuff. Awesome. Um, and then when I came out, Whoa. once you're behind on Twitter, I'm like, I'm not gonna open that back up again. So I haven't been on that, and mm-hmm. it's been it's awesome. It's a good play. It's been I great. I didn't start using Twitter until like three years ago. Really? Yeah, or maybe like two and a half. And you were so cool before then. <laughs> what happened? You were so okay. Mm. You were so okay. <laughs> Jibberd. Jibberday. Jibberday. I was, uh, I was a bit cringe back then. Mm. No. Oh. We were all, well, I don't know about you. Jaden, were you, uh, never. Were you, no. you weren't cringe? Jaden was always based. I was always <laughs> awesome. <laughs> We need to ask that to all the guests we need to say. Are you cringe or cringe? cringe? <laughs> when, when, do you th- when do you think you were the most cringe? Um, definitely starting out my career. Um, probably oh, in, okay. like, probably stopped three years ago. Um, Stop being Three cringe. years ago? Yeah. Do you think that next year that number will be the same or it'll be four years? Like, do you think that It's probably always going to be three years. Okay. It's fair. Every so three years. this will be cringe. You being Maybe. here Shit. will be cringe? Jayden. We'll see you in three years. Jaden, are we cringe? Not right now. Ask me in three years. Hmm. I do like, uh, uh, I don't like it, but I will often watch my old videos and be like, oh, that was cringe. <laughs> yeah. That was cringe. I think that's YouTube. I have a hard yeah. time. But I mean, that's good, though. It's yeah. Good. It's good because it shows that you're progressing and, and you know, you've grown. matured a For bit. For better or worse. Uh, yeah. Ian has just showed us a picture of a decom posing corpse. Wow, <laughs> thank you for that. Thanks for doing that, Ian. The first Anytime. hour. Wow. Wow, that's that's there incredible. Oh, and there's the cat coming in as well. Um, oh, wow, wait, where? Jambo? Yeah, is that, eaten, wait, how'd Jambo wait, get in? Jambo is Did eaten. I die? Is there a cat? Is that, Schlatt, that's you. Schlatt. Is that my dead body? Decompo- are you ready to move on? Schlatt? Yeah. Your insights are liquidating. Metal, it's been about metal a month. Yeah. flesh. <laughs> Moving flesh over metal, metal endoskeleton. Moving, I don't know what that moving is. Moving flesh? Like a, it's just like so a, it, yeah, it's, it's living flesh. It's living just like something he's been saying for quite literally six days. It's a line in T2, um, uh, Judgment Day, which is my favorite movie of all time. Gotcha. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, who is a, a Terminator 2, he is the T200. Uh, is he, he, maybe he's the T100. He's a T100. Maybe and the T1000 about. is the liquidy guy. I don't know if you've seen the movie. You probably haven't I seen haven't. the movie. So I haven't. You don't I haven't. Like like Any about, movie but, you, you can name, I haven't seen it. What? Um... Except for the Matrix, Elf. because 
No. You haven't seen Elf? Mm-mm. With That's Will Ferrell? Literally the only movie. I, that there That's is. the only movie. The only movie uh, <laughs> have you seen Land Before Time? You were a kid. Have you Maybe. seen Cars? Isn't that a show? Land Before Time is like a dime. It's like a dime. Oh, movie. Toy Story. The first one? Yeah. Yeah, I watched that. Boom. Nice. Uh, uh, we got him, boys. <laughs> Very good. Mm-hmm. Very good. She's seen a movie. Uh, there we go. You <laughs> proved me wrong. You <laughs> did good. Um, that's good. I've, I've also seen that one. Mm. Have you seen Toy Story? Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever have like a toy when you were a kid? <laughs> <laughs> I had a stuffed rat. <laughs> what, was his, what was his name? Raul. <laughs> Raul? Raul yeah. the that's rat. An awesome. That's a, was that your that's first cool. stuffed animal? It wasn't my first, but I loved that thing. I still have it. It's in my house. Raul the Rat is a fucking metal name. I, yeah. had, a, uh, I had a Webkins. Oh, which I one? I had a, the Polar Bear one. He's the best one. I called mine Ski Bear. Ski Bear, that's yeah, great. Yeah, because I'd play Polar Plunge. Oh, that's, Webkins, that's the also the best one. game. Yeah, you go down mm-hmm. with the Ski Bear. That's yeah. pretty favorite He's skiing. Puppy. That's pretty fair. You go get your mines and then you go polar yeah, bears. Yeah, exactly. Sledding. You go to you go to yeah. the curio shop. Welcome yeah. to the curio yeah. shop. Yeah, holy shit. Hope that you was find cool. what you're looking for. That's so good. Congratulations. <laughs> Looks like you found yourself a gem. You can keep that gem for your collection and try for that legendary crown of wonder. Or I could buy it from you if you like. Let me see what I can offer. Mm, I see these gems all the time. Then you sell it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you spin the wheel of wow. Yeah, but the two daily the wheel things. Wheel of wow. You uh, did really you voice have this webkins? Down yeah. yeah. <laughs> then you watch some chef gazpacho. Mm. Gazpacho. Chef gazpacho. I like chef that gazpacho. word. Gazpacho. Mm. Ted I, had a Ted had an animal. Yeah, when I was a kid, I uh, I had a um, beanie baby, and I named it favorite puppy. What animal was it? It was a beagle. <laughs> like a frog. It was a beagle. <laughs> it was a beagle. And I named it Favorite Puppy because it was my favorite puppy. You didn't I like mean, to it was, it was my, taking around with a vice grip around its neck. It was my favorite of all puppies. Puppies, of which it there then forth, henceforth, deserveth the name Favorite Puppy. Was there any other favorites? Oh no! <laughs> it can only really be one. So what we what we like to do here on the podcast, for instance, is I would go so far as to say, as you as a guest, that's been favorite puppy. Mm. Yeah. Really? That's been favorite. Yeah, puppy? We, we. This was a favorite puppy episode. Really? Uh, Why? Because I, I don't to remember talking about anything. Webkins. True and hip flip flip note Hatena. Those are two good memories I mm. have. Did you say you don't remember anything that we just did in the episode? No. Okay. I'm getting worried. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually more of a like concern. And you haven't even finished that jellyfish that you. Oh, that you I was studied. supposed to draw a pie. Oh, it was a pie. Oh yeah. That's all you wanted to do. Well, you told me it's to been, draw a pie. I, I know it's been sitting like that for like. <laughs> it's been sitting like Why that for. Up close, up close. You made it unhappy. A real animator. I, that, he's more like um, half and half. I mean, well, he's, he's... He, look, he's blushing. Oh. Aww. He's a little bashful. A He's a little <laughs> bastard Just a bit that's bashful. bashful. Bashful pie. All right, I can put that down now. What is something that you can't stand drawing? Oh. Like um, people have, you know, hands is like the classic. I'm just wondering. If I don't know. Thing. I don't really draw anything but myself. <laughs> like that's kind of. Can you stand? What that? an ego. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't think there's anything that I dislike drawing. Yeah. I'm a ram because uh, I used to be into castle crashers, mm. and one of the power ups was a little guy oh, called like Rammy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His oh, that's power cute. Up that's right. that's where it comes from. Yeah, dude. that's so awesome. funny. I was I, I played through all of Castle Crashers with Shay very recently, and I I, I was using Rammy like the whole time. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and my profile picture was just Rammy for the longest time, and then once I started growing, I was like, you eh, copyright, mm. copyright really? issues. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, can I look it up? I want to see it. Yeah, of course. It's like this cute little balls as well and so uh yeah i had an artist redo it kind of like its own thing but oh. still in the vein of uh a ram. yeah that's adorable yeah he is adorable 
He's perfect for a profile photo. Yeah, he's round and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, that makes perfect sense. So oh, that's, the, that's where he comes from. The first thing on here is uh, Schlatt fan art. Really? Whoa, when you write oh, shit. <laughs> Rami. That's awesome. Let me see. Have you talked about this in the past? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I yeah. haven't heard of this before. I thought this was breaking news. This no, a, this, this is, is not breaking news. When was the last time you talked about this and where? Can we delete that? Uh, so this probably, makes it the only one. probably on this podcast I probably talked about it. What? Yeah. Oh. Or maybe on Sleep Deprived We've, or something. Oh, maybe Sleep Deprived. Mm-hmm. Where does the name Jaden come from? Yeah. My mom. What's up with that? <laughs> I like my name, actually. No one else I has it. I wasn't saying it was a bad <laughs> name. I haven't met anyone else named Jaden. I've met two Jadens and they've both been boys, so I still reign supreme. Are they still around? I know a Jaden. Uh, I don't know. I've one was in karate class when I was eight and hit him a little too hard. Never came back. I know. I know <laughs> another Jaden. He's a mar- he was a marine. Ooh, oh, I know a Jaden. Shout out Jaden Tippets. Uh, I know a Jaden who raps. <laughs> Jaden Smith. Yeah. <laughs> Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith. Uh. Will Smith's son. Mm. Then there's a Willow Smith. I win my hair back and forth. Oh, really? Yeah. That? I, that was her. The whole, their whole family is so, all their Very names talented. are just together. Yeah. Very talented it's crew. Weird. But recently, Jaden Smith is now just Jaden. Mm. Willow Smith is. Well, oh, really? he doesn't have the I in his name, so I still, that's true. I'm still good. That's true. Oh, are they like not trying to be associated with their father? I guess not. I guess, there was mm. a lot of Smiths. A lot of Smiths. It's kind of generic. True. It's it's. Jaden Smith. You don't even know who you're yeah, talking you're about. Just, but Jaden, I know that guy. He raps. Mm. They also changed up their style a lot too. Like they're both doing like indie, pop. That's fair. I think it's good to do a bunch of different hmm. stuff. Do you yeah. have please? Do you have a music that you like? No. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I really don't listen to music. Either. You don't no. listen to music. You don't listen to music. No, it's fine. I don't know why. Yeah, you, 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 you don't listen to music. <laughs> Damn it. Do you, what do you do? Do you read? Do you like a music? No. You I just don't said you were either. reading and writing, and now we ask you if you were reading. Well, and I you don't, say I don't read. I said I journal during kind of my journaling? alone week. Is it like bullet journaling? It's like emotional stress journaling. Oh. Mm. Do you like white noise when you sleep? No. So I like I listen sleep? to Mario Maker. Do you sleep? You, you listen, listen to Mario listen to Maker? Mario Maker to go to bed? Mm-hmm. That's cool. What yeah. games do you play? What video games do you play? Um, Mario Maker. Name them. <sighs> what do I play? Um, I do play video games. Do you play Mario Maker? Or do you just um, put it on exclusively to listen to it as a noisemaker? <laughs> I don't in the really background? play it. No, that's cool. I I played Hyperlight Drifter for like a couple minutes, <sighs> and it it wasn't my thing. But the soundtrack mm-hmm. is just so fucking yeah. good mm. that I just listen to that shit. Cyanide yeah. Wild Hearts is another one I played. It's like an indie. Ooh. It's like an indie game that's an album experience, and you mm. play through each individual song. So cool. I recommend it. Mm. Mm-hmm. No, I don't think you do. No, I do. It's oh, good. I'm sorry. Um. Okay, so you don't play. I knew you were gonna ask me this, and I <laughs> so was like, "So you don't." Is <laughs> I don't. Is the moral of this, yeah. I really don't know what I do. So what is? I, I mean, think I just work all the time. I Jeez. think that's what I do. I mean, what does the typical day look like for you then? Wake up at eleven a.m. Okay. and then something turn off happens. The Mario maker. <laughs> turn, turn off the Mario. Turn off. That's been Mario playing noise. for twelve hours. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you play Smash? Um, not really, but I'll, I'm, I enjoy it. I'll play with like friends and stuff. I don't play Epic. it by myself, but yeah, I'll wake up, two mm. hours will pass. I don't know what happens. And that's then fair. I go to work and then, and yeah. then that's, yeah. and then forever, forever. I'm very ahead right now. I've got the rest of the, really? I've got the rest of the year of videos planned. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Well, what are you going to do oh with my all God, that free I could time? Never That's, that was what I wanted to do, is I wanted to get ahead and then have X amount of months where I can just do whatever I want. So what kind of things are you going to enjoy? In that's what I'm going to figure out. Oh, that's so exciting. <laughs> all right, well, come back next time when you're doing when the, things. When the light yeah, is back in I'll your come eyes. back with progress. Nice. That's that right. is a really cool idea. Well, I think I I've... have the luxury to do that because the videos, if I think of like six videos, then that's half a year at minimum. Same. Ted. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> me. <laughs> me also. Um, oh, how long does a video take to make for you? I'm very curious. A month and a half. Pretty much on the dot? 
Pretty much, yeah. Mm. Of like solid work. Man, Ian, I really have no fucking excuse, do I? No. 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 <laughs> I talk to him all the time about just like getting that shit together. And he's like, he's like, just do it. I'm like, yeah, I know. Nice. What is like the main problem? It's Ted. Uh, <laughs> just, uh, it's. I think it's a uh, part of HD. It's very hard to to consistently create your own motivation. Mm. Is what I have read or heard online. I guess. What do you do instead of working? Mm, oh, a lot of. <laughs> Uh, I I've been I I usually go through a phase every now and then. Right now, my phase is playing Smash Super Smash mm, Bros. Mm. Um, sometimes it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna be really muscular. I've decided, and then it'll <laughs> that'll happen for like a, you know three Being weeks. Being muscular is a hobby. <laughs> You know, it's it's like there's certain interests that'll just, just hit you for a little bit. For like three weeks. Imagine if I just like got some. I don't know how steroids work in this. But I'm probably wrong. But what if I just was like, I ate the sandwich in Castle Crashers. Ooh. You just got jacked. You just got big. <laughs> I think steroids just make your muscles recover faster. Yeah, so you, you still you have to, to do the out. work. If you don't work out and you, oh, you gotta do the like work. Yeah. You still have to do the work, yeah. Why so why does steroids mess you up as much as it does? Because it's extra testosterone. And too much of that, you become too manly. Mm. And what the liberal media does okay, so here's, is they tell you it's not a... <laughs> <laughs> Ian? I'm on it. Tell me why there was that one episode of Family Guy where Stewie got on on steroids <laughs> and then he started flying around like a bat everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> right, because it's it's making you produce more, I think, so you like make more fat and like loose skin and stuff as well. Loose skin? Oh, Something like that, that would huh. suck. That's that's why I think in the, I've seen the episode you're talking about for some reason. I've seen. I feel like everyone's seen that episode for his Jack, some and then all the muscles go away, and he's all skinny. Yeah. He's like a flying squirrel. That's why your balls get smaller when you do. Yeah, relatable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, your nuts shrink. Why do your nuts shrink? You lose steroids. skin. Steroids. <laughs> why are you losing sh- not, skin? Why are your nuts shrink? True. Steroids. I, I'm not you're talking doing about my steroids? nuts. No, I'm not talking about my nuts. My nuts are supple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm losing my mind right now. Yeah. Yeah, don't do steroids is really... I've been on steroids before. Yeah. Oh, do you, you have an answer steroids? for us? Yeah. I had I'm hives. figure out this very complicated medical thing in, in, in mere moments. Look and, up steroids bad. And I, I, I'm, I'm like... <laughs> steroids bad wife. <laughs> I'm confused here. Like, why should I care about that? I mean, I need an answer here. Well, it's... <laughs> I'm sorry. Destroys your heart. Destroy, oh, it destroys oh, your really? heart. Destroys your heart is what our producer is saying. Muscle. So mm. Oh is shit. The Ooh, heart is, the heart a, is muscle. a muscle. Borf said. Oh. Wow. Borf said the heart is a muscle. And do we and do we need that? It, Borf, it, it Borf it pump, yeah, At least some of it. Sure. What do you believe the most, Jaden? Huh? Do you believe in God? <laughs> That's a loaded question. Do I you believe in yourself. Believe in And that's a loaded gun. <laughs> <laughs> you believe in God. That, was, that was divine intervention by her. Is there anything yeah. in there? No, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Schlatt. That was ridiculous. Part? That was so <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It just it exploded. <laughs> Wow. I, I think I believe in God now. What go, is that a, is Do you it, believe what is in that? God? Gun explodes. <laughs> like, is that an airsoft <laughs> gun? Church? I think. Where the hell did you get the airsoft gun? In the game Gump's <laughs> office. <laughs> you just destroyed a piece it of Game here, Gump's yeah, property. I did. It was on a shelf too, like it meant something. <laughs> the Grump Rump. This actually has What? A, this has a small metal like pellet in it. It does? Yeah, isn't that Oh, bad? so I almost loaded it and shot it. <laughs> and I, it. like, willingly oh looked my down God. the barrel. Holy shit. Dude, you almost blinded an animator. So uh, it's okay. that was on the shelf along with all, like, a bunch of mem- memorabilia. fuck? <laughs> 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 God. Um, wow. Hey, Borf, get that out of here. There's other pieces. Borf will take care of it. If you want um, pieces too. 
Is this made up? <laughs> it's kind of heavy. This is like heavy. Yeah. That, yeah. This is heavy that you just This like murder. is made of metal, kind of? Stop the thick water. You don't have you to You gave do it. it to There's me. So much, you, you poured so it. so much Voss and you're choosing. Well, I, was, I hope this I is was like under the. Chug. No. Chug. Chug. <laughs> chug. Enough so sips. Much. Come on. No. Yeah, it tastes like plastic. Chug. I sipped this thing. Chug. 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 Someone else has got a chicken. Thick. 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 Ted. Come on. Ted. Go ahead. No. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to chug it again. What would it be like to waterfall that? Probably pretty scary. I it's feel like it's probably easier because you can kind of follow oh it. Oh, my God. You're right. Yeah, it's like a syrup. Yeah, you can kind of mm-hmm. just let it glide down. I can't believe down. how much That's what I did. That's what it. I did. I let it glide down my throat. Freaking awesome, man. Isn't that the purpose? I didn't get it to my mouth. You don't or swallow it. You let it glide. You I let it glide down my throat. It, and by the way, gliding. all of this, viscous? that's what she said. <laughs> viscous. What? To what? Sorry. I said all of this conversation about letting shit glide down your throat, that's what she said. Oh. Oh. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Oh, it's... It's... (laughs) (laughs) It's the end of the podcast. Jaden, we want to thank you for coming on this podcast. Thanks for having me. This was... Wild. This was a thick. This was a thick pod. The thickest. This was a one. thick pod. Thick pod. A, mm. a big <sighs> one. Um, but before we let you go, would you like? We gotta do the Sean Evans. Jaden, roll out the red. We're carpet. gonna roll out the red carpet for you. Yeah. Mm. This that camera, camera there. Hey, this camera there. This uh, camera there. Go ahead and there. look at this camera, Jane. What are you um, working on? Right tell now? everyone what you got going on in your life. How about ghoul? Nothing. Nothing. Wow. And that's you don't want to where, promote can, where can people find anything? you to see all your nothing? Nowhere. People can't find you anywhere. This is I'm not here. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, seriously, where can people where can people find you? Your stuff. Jaden search YouTube. up Jaden Animations. Look up yeah. Jaden Animations. That's it. Yeah. If you don't already know yeah. who this person is. Any any message, anything you're you're passionate, dare I say, about that you want to just say? To the people watching Just this give at us, home. give us like some sort of statement, some sort of sweeping um, yeah. declaration of maybe something, opinion, yeah. fact, fiction. Something maybe a lot of people would disagree with. History, oh. future, mm-hmm. or maybe a lot of people would agree with. Something you 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 know you feel. No, I got nothing. Bye. Awesome.